Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the featherweight bout between Mavzar Evloev versus Ilya Taporia. And I see this one right here. So at first I was leaning to Ilya Taporia, but when I really had to think about it, smart money, smart bet is going to be on um, Mavzar Evloev. In my backing, you know, my research and knowledge to back Ilya Taporia is not really all that solid. And I feel like it's solid, more solid on Mavsar Evloev's side. And I'm not just going based on what's where money's looking good or always oh, fight so close. So I'm gonna toss a coin. I go on what's you know based off what's out there, what's actual intel. I feel like Tapura definitely packs more power and definitely is a much better finisher. He has some solid wrestling and wrestling defense. But I feel like Mavsar Evloev can match him or surpass him in wrestling, in my opinion. In my opinion. And I feel like ultimately Mavsar Evloev could pass could push a better pace as we saw in the use of the law fight when, you know, in his UFC debut. I don't think that was on short notice, so you got to get at him as well. You can't say, oh, cardio this, cardio that, and if, oh, based on one instance, young fighter as well. So, so. But either way, you could say that, but hey, you got to go based on what you could find. And he did, no matter if it was short notice or not, he did kind of fade off in that third round. It was a grappling heavy fight from him in that extent, but hey, he can really, he can. Finish use of the law, can't really do much with use of the law. And Ultimately was fading in the third round and Zalaw turned it up. And also was competitive fight throughout. In Zalaw, here we go, and not no longer in the UFC, but that's MMA, math, or MMA, whatever you want to call it. But either way, I feel like Masar Evelev is definitely the more tested guy. They're both young, both solid. Ilya Tapur may be a little bit younger, but Masar Evelev has, hey, you know, A is not all that greatly different. And Evelev has accomplished a lot more, has for a lot better competition. I think he also is undefeated as well. And against much better competition. So I feel like Evloev is a solid dude. And we'll look at who he'd be. He'd be Ryan Hall, one dimensional grappler, be Damon Jackson, one dimensional grappler. And I feel like Evloev doesn't fall in the category of one dimensional grappler. And also has four plenty of solid guys, world champions, beat world champions outside the UFC. Evloev just doesn't have that experience. I have concerns about Evloev's not Evloev, but Ilya Taporia's power. But ultimately I feel like it's not the case where um um, Evloev is going to come in with a one-dimensional fight. He's going to mix up on the feet, mix up with the takedowns. I see it's a very competitive fight, but I definitely feel like pacing will be a big factor, and I feel like that will favor Evloev more. Experience will favor Evloev more. I definitely see this as a tough matchup, definitely not an easy matchup for either guy, but I'm going to favor the guy who has experience at this level to prevail when this, when this going gets tough. I, like I said, I don't feel like Tapir is going to wilt or quit, but I definitely feel like he's going to slow down, and Evloev is going to get stronger as the fight goes on, whereas I feel like the poor is gonna, you know, fade a bit. Not gonna quit, not gonna wilt, not gonna choke. Competitive fight, but I feel like Evloe smartly mixes in takedowns, mixes in grappling exchanges, minds his distance well, and you know, keep the poor busy and keep the fight active and pushes the pace that's gonna favor him and gonna favor him to get his hand raised. So in this fight, I have Mobsar Evloev via decision.